Don't be afraid. I feel that will be the choice. Okay, just hold this and I'll tell you how I'll do it. And yeah, let's see. We'll just keep this in the size stuff. So. Well, we first demonstrate and then we'll talk about how it works. Yeah. We'll turn it on. Maybe we can have, let's have a first the light all the way down yeah. as much as we can because this is a light show. So. Is this uh, all you can do? <laughs> uh, just come here and keep it like this way, but away from yourself because it has a thing in your pack. <laughs> circuit is really what is responsible for some 100 kilohertz or so frequency in the secondary side. And that, because it's open, is actually radiating all that power. It's radiating in the surrounding area. So if you have any, in fact, uh, if you didn't know, the Tesla also invented the fluorescent light bulb. In fact, his uh, laboratory was lighted with a, because, of course, uh, Edison invented the, the light and made uh, millions on it. And, uh, of course, Tesla came up and uh, with a fluorescent light by playing and taking different uh, uh, neutral gases in it, and he made, uh, he actually lighted his laboratory with the whole uh, fluorescent uh, ceiling. In fact, uh, I've seen some photographs of that. So in any case, uh, the energy is basically transmitted around, and he, when he made the first experiments in Colorado Springs in one year, in 1899, he made uh, his famous experiments with high voltage, high frequency. This whole structure was wooden, and he was uh, toying with the idea of actually converting the uh, power of the, you know, the storms into useful electricity. And he was also playing with the idea of being able to transmit the power at long distances. It was reported that he was able to move some uh, 20 horsepower motor some 10 miles distance from, the, from their place by utilizing this. Of course, his Tesla coil, as we'll see on a later on the slide, are much bigger and larger. <laughs> we have one at uh, Caltech, which is 10 kilowatt, but I, of course, uh, it's impractical for me to get a 10 kilowatt. Here, so. <laughs> you know, this was very heavy, I'll test that. So what uh, happened at the end of that year, his uh, laboratory burned. It is not known you know, whether it was a sabotage or what happened, and a lot of his original work in the paper writing went with it, because it was a wooden structure. And he never recovered from that loss. In fact, uh, that was uh, really the time that uh, he was building also wonderfully power in New York to make uh, the power uh, transmitter for uh, transmitting the signals to Europe and so on. But uh, that was stopped halfway through. J.P. Morgan withdrew his funds, and then uh, he basically uh, the, the structure fell fell down. It was eventually later destroyed. But uh, he had, of course, uh, many other great ideas, and uh, radio transmission was, of course, one. He came up with a Tesla turbine later on. He came up also with the microphone. Every part? Put the mic back on. He came up with the, also with a vertical takeoff and landing 
aircraft idea, which you know nowadays is being actually implemented as well. And uh, the only, uh, let's go back to the slides. 